Welcome to a lesson on multiplying binomials with radicals. We now know to multiply radicals we'll multiply with the, the same factors index. outside the radicals together. In this case, we'd have p times q. Then multiply the radicands together, which would be the terms underneath the radicals. In this case, we'd have u times v. And then we try to simplify the result. When multiplying binomials with radicals, we follow the same rules for other products involving binomial expressions. Meaning if we have a monomial times a binomial, in this form here, we'll have two products. We'll distribute and have a times b plus a times c. And if we have a binomial times a binomial, we'll have four products. Or we can think of this as double distribution. We distribute the a, so we'd have a times c plus a times d. And then we distribute the b, we'd have b times c plus b times d. Let's take a look at some examples. So here we'd have two products. We'd have square root 6 times square root 15 minus square root 6 times square root 2. So in this case, we'll multiply the radicands together. So we'd have the square root of 6 times 15. Notice how both of these terms are underneath the square root and then we'd have minus the square root of 6 times 2. So this is the product, but now we want to simplify this. So to simplify this, we want to write the radicands in prime factored form so we can find the perfect square factors of this product and this product. Well, the prime factorization of 6 is 2 times 3, and the prime factorization of 15 is 3 times 5. So this is the prime factorization of this product. And then we have minus the square root of, well, 6 times 2 is 12, so the prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 3. And now we'll circle groups of two equal factors to find our perfect square factors. Here's 3 squared, and here's 2 squared, which are the perfect square factors. So the circled part will simplify. The square root of 3 squared is 3, so this simplifies to 3 square root 2 times 5 is 10 minus the square root of 2 squared is 2, and we have the square root of 3. This would be our simplified product. Next, we have 2 cube root 9 times the quantity 3 plus cube root 15. So again, we'll have two products, one here and one here. For this first product, we multiply 2 and 3. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. So this would be 6 times the cube root of 9. Notice we don't multiply the 9 by the 2 and the 3 because the 9 is underneath the radical and the 2 and 3 are not. And then we have plus, if it's helpful, we can think of this as 1 cube root 15. So 2 times 1 is 2. And then we'd have the cube root of 9 times 15. And now we want to simplify the cube roots if possible. So we'd have 6 times the cube root of, well, 9 is equal to 3 times 3, so we can tell this is not going to simplify because we don't have three equal factors or a perfect cube factor. Plus 2 times the cube root of, well, 9 is equal to 3 times 3, and 15 is equal to 3 times 5. Notice here we do have a perfect cube factor of 3 cubed. So we have 6 times the cube root of 9 plus here the cube root of 3 cubed is 3, so we have 2 times 3 times the cube root of 5. So this is 6 cube root 9 plus 6 cube root 5. Remember, we can't combine these radicals because, because they're not the radical, like radical part is not the same. Now let's take a look at two examples of a binomial times a binomial. So here we'll have four products, one, two, three, and four. So we have the square root of two times six. Again, notice how both the two and the six are underneath the square root, minus the square root of two times 10. And then we have plus the square root of 15 times six. And then we have minus the square root of 15 times 10. And now we'll find the prime factorization of the radicands to help us simplify. 
So here we'd have the prime factorization of six is two times three, so we'd have two times two times three minus the square root of two times the prime factorization of ten is two times five plus square root of the prime factorization of fifteen is three times five and six is two times three, so we'd have two times three times three times five minus the square root of, again, fifteen is three times five, ten is two times five, so we'd have two times three times five times five. And now we can easily identify the perfect square factors. Here's two squared, two squared, three squared, and five squared. So simplifying, here we'd have two square root three, since the square root of two squared is two, here we'd have minus two square root five, plus the square root of three squared is three, so we have three square root ten, minus here we'd have five square root six. We have no like radicals, so this is our simplified product. Now for the last example, there's no shortcuts here, We'll have to expand this. This is equivalent to three square root two minus square root five times the quantity three square root two minus square root five. We cannot just square the first term and square the second term. Again, we'll have four products, one, two, three, and four. So for this first product we have three times three is nine, so we have nine times the square root of two times two. And then we have minus, if it's helpful we can think of this as minus one square root of five as well as here. So we'd have minus three times the square root of two times five. And then we'd have minus three times the square root of five times two. And then finally we have negative one times negative one, that's positive one, so plus one times the square root of five times five. Of course this one is optional. Notice this will simplify. Two squared is a perfect square factor, and so is five squared. Well here the square root of two squared is two, so we'd have nine times two or eighteen. Here we have minus three square root ten, this doesn't simplify. Here we have minus three square root ten again. And then here, the square root of five squared is just five. So combining like terms, eighteen plus five is twenty-three. Since negative like three radicals. minus three equals negative six, we'd have minus six square root ten. I hope you found this helpful.